Did you know that Riley, the protagonist of Inside Out, appears in some other Pixar movies? One of those times happened a year after the release of Inside Out, in 2016, when the highly anticipated Finding Nemo sequel, Finding Dory, was released. When Dory is placed in the aquarium, we can see that there's a school field trip going on, and guess who was there? Riley herself! This fantastic Easter egg not only adds to the theory that all Disney Pixar movies take place in the same universe, but also raises the excitement level. Imagine if this is confirmed one day, and it's going to be amazing! Note, this isn't the only Disney Pixar movie where Riley appears, as we'll tell you in this video. There are many character appearances in other animations and connections between different movie storylines that we're about to reveal to you. But stick around until the end, because I want to see if your mind doesn't explode by the end. Riley's Classmate it's not just the main characters that make appearances in other movies. In the same scene where we see the school field trip at the aquarium with Dory, we can also spot one of Riley's classmates, confirming that it was indeed Riley's school in the scene. Note that this second boy next to Riley is identical to the classmate who was there when Riley introduces herself on her first day of school in San Francisco. If you look closely, you'll even notice that the number 86 on his shirt can also be seen in the aquarium scene. That's an interesting tidbit about this number. It's the year Pixar was founded, 1986. And since we know there are no coincidences in the company's animations, this is a clear tribute from the employees in the film. Colette the Pixar theory that somehow all the movies are connected gains strength in a scene in Inside Out itself. It happens when we see Riley playing in her living room, and on a little table, we see a basket of magazines. And guess who's on the cover of that cooking magazine? It's Colette, one of the main characters from Ratatouille who works at the famous French restaurant Auguste Gusteau alongside Linguini and Remy, the cooking rat. This clearly shows that even though she's on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, Colette and all the other characters exist in the same universe. Man, that's really cool! <laughs> Boo in Inside Out Another eerie connection between Pixar movies is the appearance of Boo in Inside Out. Well, in Finding Dory too, but with the Inside Out gang. You get it? <laughs> I know it's confusing, but let me explain. Remember Boo? That little girl that Sully and Mike accidentally take to the monster dimension and ends up being responsible for all the good things that happen in the movie. Now, tell me, when you see this girl, doesn't she look a lot like this girl, just older and bigger? So, many people don't know this, but Pete Docter, the creator of Inside Out, was also one of the minds behind Monsters, Inc. This undoubtedly strengthens the connection between the two movies, and maybe that's why Boo appears in Finding Dory with the Inside Out students. The theory of a single Pixar universe makes more and more sense. <laughs> Villain in France Since we mentioned Ratatouille earlier, there's another connection between the movie and the Pixar universe. When Linguini and Colette are on a roller skating outing, and look who appears in the background. Bomb Voyage! He's the exact same villain that Mr. Incredible apprehends at the beginning of the first Incredibles movie. The question is, does the scene in France happen before or after he was captured by Mr. Incredible? Since Bomb Voyage's capture occurs when the Incredibles family didn't even exist yet, I believe this must be after he served his sentence in some prison and returned to France to live an honest life as a mime on the streets of Paris. This would make perfect sense. Another thing, it's actually possible, as in one part of Ratatouille, Linguini wears Incredibles underwear. This shows that they are famous worldwide, as they have fans even in France. But tell us, do you really think the theory of a single Pixar universe makes sense? If so, comment below with hashtag universe. Duke Kaboom! Speaking of Incredibles, one of the funniest characters from Toy Story 4 appears in the second movie of the Disney superhero family. We're talking about Duke Kaboom, the world's greatest stuntman, at least in his own mind. <laughs> We can see the super motorcyclist and extreme action and danger enthusiast in probably the most dangerous place in the world, Jack-Jack's crib, the youngest child of Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible. My friend, that's living dangerously, especially for someone who knows the number of sinister powers that that little baby possesses, including shooting laser beams from his eyes, turning into a bizarre creature, and controlling flames. I admire Duke Kaboom even more now. A Bug's Life 
After Toy Story, released in 1996, the second film from the Pixar-Disney partnership to be released was the excellent A Bug's Life. Seriously, if you haven't seen this movie, it's worth checking out. It's really good. But here's the detail, two of the main characters from the film, Flick, the protagonist, and Heimlich, the slightly overweight caterpillar, make a special appearance in Toy Story 2, released in 1999, a year later. In a scene included in the movie's blooper reel, we see the insect duo talking on a branch that Buzz passes by, and they get tossed off. <laughs> this is definitely an official appearance of characters from one movie in Pixar animations, which helps strengthen the argument that all the company's movies are somehow connected. At least Toy Story and A Bug's Life are, that's for sure. Sid in Coco Those who are more familiar with Toy Story will definitely remember Sid, Andy's neighbor who took pleasure in destroying his toys and eventually learned a lesson from Woody for doing so. Well, in the movie Coco, we see a character that many believe to be Sid himself. During the music festival in the Land of the Dead, we see a guy wearing a shirt identical to Sid's, trying to showcase his music to everyone, but it's not very successful. The detail is that he's a skeleton, which means that if he's really Sid, it means he's no longer among the living. Spooky. <laughs> Riley again. Remember we mentioned that Riley appears again in another Pixar movie? Well, going straight to a fishing village in Italy where the movie Luca is set, we see Riley making another appearance in the midst of a crowd of people. This happens during the final race where Julia is trying to beat Visconti's wasp. And when Julia picks up her bike, we notice a woman holding a baby wrapped in a yellow cloth with a small light cap. If we go back to the beginning of Inside Out, we'll notice that this baby is exactly like Baby Riley, who we see experiencing her first joy emotion as soon as she opens her eyes and sees her parents. This is definitely a connection that's hard to explain. Could Riley have been born in Italy? That's impossible, as Luca is set in the 1950s and Inside Out is set in the 2000s. The only explanation would be if that lady was Riley's grandmother or great-grandmother. That could make sense. What do you think? Dinosaur and Inside Out This is a scene that only true Pixar fans noticed. In one of Riley's memories, when she and her parents are on their way to San Francisco, they stop to take a picture with a statue of a Triceratops, an extinct dinosaur from millions of years ago, at least on the days when the events of Inside Out take place. This is because if we go back in time, way back, we reach the movie The Good Dinosaur, and we see that the dinosaur character in the photo of Riley's family, in her memories, is the same dinosaur that interacts with Arlo in some scenes of the movie released in the same year as Inside Out. In other words, the two movies can perfectly be part of the same universe, just with a few million years difference in their timelines. <laughs> but the Pixar theory makes more and more sense, that's for sure. These were the 10 hidden Disney characters that make appearances in Pixar animations. Watching Disney Pixar movies to spot these connections is a pleasure. <laughs> and to keep discovering new things, we've prepared these two videos for you to enjoy. The one on the left is simply amazing. <laughs>